I employ attitude, perhaps over qualifications. I know um, you were doing some recruiting a couple of months ago, and we had a bit of a chat about that. And, um, you know, you, 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 you were going to come and help with the uh, housekeeping, weren't you? But uh, you never, you never turned Yeah, but you wouldn't pay for the flight, right? <laughs> So we um so it led to me to an interesting question actually. So I wondered have you ever sat in an interview where you've learned something about yourself more than you have about the person that you're interviewing? I think quite early on I made this conscious decision that I employ attitude perhaps over qualifications. I've looked at a really good CV and gone, oh, you know, yeah, they, they've been, um, you know, I don't know, a restaurant manager for five years or they've been a CDP for three years or they've got experience here and everywhere. And I've interviewed them and there's been no connection or there's not been a spark. And I then interview people that perhaps haven't had that level of experience, but we've clicked. And, and you think that person's going to fit into our culture. That person's going to fit into our... and. As much as you want experienced people, where here it's quite a close team. It's a small team. You know, myself as as the general manager. Last week, I think I said to you before we started the recording, I cooked breakfast three times. I've been doing that last couple of weeks. I still open the bottles of wine in the restaurant. I still talk to my guests. The best bit of marketing you can do is be there and talk to your guests. And I'm seeing on the shop floor constantly where a lot of GMs now sail above or they or they you know if they're floating around or the guests don't see them it becomes very impersonal and how do you then expect your chefs to work longer how do you expect the kps to unblock the drains if you're not doing it yourself or unblock news if you're not doing it yourself and and and, and so if you can find somebody who's got an attitude i can train them for else i can train you to be the best i can train you to be the best restaurant manager that, that we can offer because you've got that right attitude and, and I think sometimes, you know, I look at my history of guest review and I had never worked in an office. <laughs> I used to deliver eggs and ride horses for a living. <laughs> that was it. So I started as a blank slate and, you know, I've been with the company for seven years now and I've grown amazingly well. And I think that sometimes is better than having a qualification because you walk in there as a blank slate, you learn the systems that are in place and how things actually want to be done. And you can nurture that and grow that so that they can either stay on and be part of the team or they can grow and and do more and run three or four hotels and things like that. So, you know, I think sometimes qualifications are looked at and taken too highly into regard. I think the, um, yeah, the, the apprenticeship service in, in the UK now is, is so great. I mean, we use a company called uh, HITS, HITS Training. Um, we've also worked with Turin College, Turin Penwith College, Oster College, and um, Camborne College. We went to all these, these places now. And especially with HITS is that we can find people with great attitudes. Uh, we've got two on our books already. We have better start another one. School wasn't for them, for any, for any of them. You know, they've come to us as 17-year-olds in the UK. Now you have to be in education until you're 18. So the apprentice national apprenticeship service say well as long as you're doing an apprenticeship you can work so we've we've taken these two girls on and they're doing fantastic absolutely fantastic school wasn't for them academics academia wasn't for them they're not going to go to college they're not going to go to uh, to university it's just because it's that's that, that's not the person that they are we've got a new chap starting with us on friday exactly the same situation you know he didn't do very well at school but on our trial shift you know talking to the guests you know this guy's never been with us before but he's you know he's he's, he's come he's, he's come very smart 16 70 17 in june he's, he's come to an interview with me he's got a trousers on he's got a shirt on he's polite he's shook my hand we've got him in for a trial he's talked to the guests he's, he's you know, polished the cut without being asked to that intuition and yeah we're gonna put him in a friendship now doing multi-skilled hospitality and he could be the manager of the, of the future yeah, absolutely. just getting on with it, and you know, and I, I, I dropped him off at home on the way home, which I don't usually do. But I thought, you know, this is a really nice young lad. Thank you very much, Miss Thompson. Shut my hand, and, and you don't get that these days from from some 
kids, you know, and, and that we can mold that, we can change that, we can we can get him to be really productive, not just here, but perhaps out in the, in the industry in a few years' time. You know, and you probably from like forces like that, you're alleviating so much stress from these children that aren't academic. I was I was never academic, so I never went to college and did those sorts of things. I went out into the big wide world at 16. Um, and, you know, it doesn't mean that we are less clever. Just some people shine in different areas. People can talk to people. Some academic people just want to be recluses and don't want to have any interaction because they can't communicate. So I think it's horses for courses, right? You know, you either fit or you Definitely. don't. Definitely. And, I've, you know, I've met hotel managers that didn't even go to university. And I think I, I, that's what makes hospitality so special. I did um, a, a careers talk to a bunch of 15-year-olds uh, not that long ago from my sister's uh, the school my sister works at in, in Birmingham. And I was explaining to them that hospitality is probably one of the only industries where you can go in washing the plates and you work hard and you get determined, you can learn on the job, you can learn from experienced people around you. There's no reason why you can't be supervisor, manager, you know, general manager, area manager, MD of a company, if, you, if you've got the determination to do that. Yeah. And, and, and yeah, I think that's what makes it so unique. Yeah, I think so as well. And I think there's so, the nice thing with hospitality is that typically it's all about networking. So, you know, as even if you're starting at the bottom and you're showing your potential, there's a really good chance that somebody's going to see you, they're going to take you under their wing, and then they're going to guide you through that process. Mm-hmm. And that's that to me is really special. But I think hospitality really people want to see their team shining, and I know you're an outstanding example for that within the hospitality industry. So, um, have you got any advice for young people out there that might not be academic when they go into an interview? Um, what would your be your top two tips for them? To- I think you know, first impressions matter, and, and we've we've had it here. This young lad who we saw last week turned up, suited and booted, tie, 16 years old. You know, it's, 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 like I say, it's, I don't, he's not academic, but he's, he's he, he just, we looked at him and thought, do you know what, if he, at that age, if he can make an effort, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to make an effort on, on, on employing him. You know, be smart, be polite. There's, I don't, I think sometimes, Young people don't know how to speak to people these days. They're so engrossed online, text messages, YouTube videos. People are losing the skill to talk. Not talk, but communicate effectively. I've always been quite confident. I'm a confident guy. You know, I talk to people and talk to you and, and talk to my staff and, you know, and talk to famous people that you meet and all that kind of, and, and being able to adjust your tone or just the way you speak or what you say to, to different levels. And I think that gets lost. I think that's, that's, I think that's got, I think that has something that's become lost over time. And so I think if you're, if you're going to go and, and you're going to go to an interview and, and you can then do a trial and you can show that you can talk to people and it's not just a grunt or a, or a or, you know, and, 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 and you're willing to, to, to do it. It happens. But it happens. You have people trial, and 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 maybe it's a confidence thing. I don't know, but I think it's a worry that you know communication skills, I think due to COVID and, and due to that kind of just the way that technology has changed people's you know ways of habits these days. And that you know that that is a worry. Yeah, I I, I hope it's not going to be a worry. I hope that you know as people come out and they start you know doing training and things like that, they'll learn to find themselves and have that confidence. I think maybe we'll see more of a lack of confidence within people um, because they're not hiding behind a screen and and they're actually having to interact. So maybe it'll take younger people a little bit longer to kind of fit into different situations and have the confidence to try new things. But, you know, let's wait and see. 